Welcome to JAM on January 24th. We are in our classroom in this place that we make sacred by slowing our body and reminding ourselves to listen for God's voice. Today, we're going to hear a story about the parable of the mustard seed. There is an activity that is in your um, brown paper bag that you received on your porch last week, and it really just has some prompts for you to be imaginative and begin thinking what kind act can you do for others, brainstorm about that, then do it and ask how did you feel, how might the other person feel, and when we do that one small act of kindness, it grows like a tiny little mustard seed into a giant tree, so much so that it's even like a weed that can take over our lives. So let kindness grow like a weed in your life this week. We're now going to share a little bit about the curriculum that we use. If you already know that, feel free to skip ahead in the video. The Young Children in Worship curriculum is a curriculum that tells stories in a multi-sensory fashion. It hopes that kids will be there to touch and hear and feel and smell the various things of the story. Touch sand and feel it as Jesus is in the desert with the temptation, the story of Jesus' temptation. So we use this multi-sensory format to tell stories and we place it within the setting of worship, the kind of worship that kids will experience for the rest of their lives. And yet it's offered in an age appropriate way. So we first begin by preparing ourselves for worship. We do that by greeting one another. The Lord be with you and also with you. We sing songs in order to prepare ourselves. And then we hear that sacred story from the Bible. Then afterwards, we have a time of thanksgiving. We do this in prayer. After that, we warm up our benediction hands and we go forth into the world, remembering that God goes with us in peace. So now, Join with us as we do this form of worship in an age-appropriate way for kids. So I invite you to turn down your devices, slow your body, and enter the worship space with me today. Welcome to the Worship Center. Now the Worship Center is a special place. It's a special place to be with God. Now in this place, we have all the time we need, so we don't need to hurry. We can walk more slowly. We can talk softly because somebody might be talking to God. Now when we come into this space, there are a few things we do to get ready. The first is to greet one another. We do that by reminding one another that God is with us, even though we're in different homes. So we say, I say, the Lord be with you, and you say, and also with you. Let's try it one time. Ready? The Lord be with you. Good. Let's do it one more time so that we know God is with us. The Lord be with you. Excellent. The next way we get ready to be in this space and hear from God is we sing some songs. The first song we sing is, Oh God, I Adore You. Can you sing it with me at home? Oh God, I adore you. Lay my life before you. How I love you. Jesus, I adore you. Lay my life before you. How I love you. Spirit, I adore you. Lay my life before you. How I love you. Good. 
Another song we sing slows our body so that we can hear the sacred story of God today. It's Be Still and Know. Can you sing that one with me? Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Excellent. Now, it's time to hear the sacred story of God. So I invite you to cross your arms across your body or put your hands in your lap so that you can quiet your body and listen for what the Spirit may be saying to you. I wonder if this is a parable. Hmm. It might be. Parables are very precious, like gold. This is a gold box. This looks like a present. I wonder what's inside. Well, parables are like presents. We can't buy them or sell them or take them. They are gifts and they are already ours. There's another reason this might be a parable. It has a lid. And sometimes parables seem to have lids on them. When you take the lid off, there is something precious inside. I know, let's take the lid off and see what's inside. I wonder what this could be. It is bright yellow. What do you think it is? It could be a sun. It could be a big yellow ball that bounces. Once there was someone who said such amazing things and did such wonderful things that people began to follow him. As they followed, he told them about a kingdom, the kingdom of heaven, but they did not understand. They had never been to such a place, and they didn't know anyone who had. They didn't even know where it was. So one day, they simply had to ask him, what is the kingdom of heaven like? And he said, the kingdom of heaven is like a grain of mustard seed that a person took and sowed into the ground. It is the smallest of seeds, but it grew and grew and grew. That little seed, it grew and grew and grew. It grew so big. It turned into a giant tree. And when it was grown, it was the greatest of trees. It was so great that the birds came and they nested in the branches of the tree so that the tiny, tiny seed became something so big 
the even many birds could live in it. I wonder if these birds have names. I wonder how the birds feel about the tree. I wonder where the birds were coming from when they came to the tree. I wonder if the birds were happy to find this tree. I wonder if the tree has a name. I wonder if the tree could be put back into the seed from which it grew. I wonder what this tree really is. I wonder where this tree might be. Now that we've heard that sacred story, we can respond. You can respond by doing the activity that was in your bag, the activity about letting kindness grow, like that mustard seed growing into a giant tree. Or you could go into the craft area of your home and do any other craft that reminds you of this story and how you felt hearing it. So now, I invite you to pause the video and go and respond to the story. Now is our time of Thanksgiving. We light the Christ candle to remind ourselves and to be thankful that God is with us wherever we are. Now, we will hear the story that we heard just a moment ago from the Bible. That story is also in the Bible. So I invite you to turn to Matthew, it's the first gospel. Go to chapter 13, those are the big numbers and it's verses 31 to 32. If you don't have a Bible, just listen along with me right now as I read it. He put before them another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed that someone took and sowed in his field. It is the smallest of all the seeds, but when it has grown, it is the greatest and becomes a tree so that the birds of the air can come and make nests in it. Now that we've heard the story, it's a time of thanksgiving. You can say something you're thankful for in the story, something you're thankful for in the Bible, or in your home, or in your relationships with your brother or sister or parents, or adults in your house. So. Turn to somebody next to you and say something you're thankful for. Now, I'm gonna invite you into a time of prayer so that we can also say thank you to God. So, for me, when I pray, I close my eyes. What do you do? Dear God, 
Thank you that things that are small right now can grow into big things that do beautiful things in this world. Help us to be faithful in tiny things, knowing that they give off and continue until they become big things. We ask all of these things in your name. Amen. I'm going to change the light now. The light is in one place at one time, like God is with us right here at this time now as we tell the story. I'm going to change the light now. Now, the light is in many places at many times, and God is with you in your home, even as God is with me here. So now, we're going to warm up our benedictions hand, benediction hands, stretch them out to me, and I'm going to give a benediction. That's a fancy way to say blessing. May you go into the world in peace, and God be with you. Amen.